horrified at the scene. Residents who live on Myrtle Street have been trying to contact the city for help regarding the homeless population. KTSM 90's reporter Tani Davis spoke with a couple of those residents who are worried about their neighborhood. Residents in the area have been concerned for over a month now about the rise of the homeless population on the streets. The only thing they want is for the problem to be resolved. Homeowners on Myrtle Street are concerned that with the upcoming freeze, homeless residents will try to take up shelter in an abandoned home to avoid the cold. There have been 19 911 calls to that residence and two fires that were quickly put out by the fire department. Residents say they feel uncomfortable in their own homes and they are not only worried for themselves, but for the younger people in the neighborhood. One of my daughters is very nervous, especially when she witnesses fights. She'll go to school not feeling okay. She doesn't even want to go outside to the patio because she's scared to see these people. I believe us neighbors would like to see them get relocated to another location. Tenants have tried to contact the city and the police department, but have not had a response. They feel like they have earned the right to live where they are and that the homeless population causes problems for the neighborhood. They need to clean that alley. They don't have a right to live there. I understand their situation, but doesn't give them the right to camp outside or do things. You know, there's residents, people that are out there that do pay taxes, that work. You know, they're out there just living for free. That's not fair for us. We did speak with a homeless woman who says they are not on that street to cause problems, but they are in need of help. She continued saying that they are in people too, and others often forget that they exist. Keep us in mind that we are out here doing what we can, um, trying to better ourselves. We again, we are not asking for a hand out, but just a hand up. For people on either side of the fence, solutions are hard to come by, so they're looking to the city for some guidance. We reached out to the city and they have not responded yet. For KTSM 9 News, Tawny Davis.